downtime, and always allowed apps as a part of screen time for iPhone. I tend to think of downtime and always allowed apps as two peas in a pod. Unlike app limits, which assumes that I have access to everything on my iPhone, except for these ones that I have set specific limits on, downtime is the reverse. Downtime assumes I don't access anything unless I've given it special permission. The idea behind downtime is to take a specific time of day, usually a little bit before bed and a little bit after you wake up, where we don't have as much access to everything on our phone so that we don't get sidetracked by it. So I can get to bed, go to sleep, and not feel interrupted by things because I might wake up in the night and let's say glance at my notification center. Well, if there happens to be a work email on there that gets my brain all riled up, I may not go back to sleep. So the idea behind downtime is to make more things off by default so our phone can be used only for what we want it to be used for. And open settings, go down to screen time. So the primary way to use downtime is to have it be scheduled. And you can pick when do you want your downtime scheduled. I find that I stop making quite as responsible choices after about 8 p.m., which is pretty early. So I've before had my downtime start at 8 p.m. You can customize days. So maybe for, let's say the weekends, I want it to be a little bit later. I turn these off when I go on vacation or go to a conference because that just doesn't represent my vacation conference lifestyle. And rather than fight it, I'd rather just have it off and then return to it when I get home. But let's talk about what happens when downtime is on. There's also a button here that says, turn on downtime until schedule. As of this recording, that option is not included in the new control center features. I looked because it would be awesome. Because downtime assumes that every app except phone and messages are things that you don't want to use by default, anything you want to have always available during downtime needs to be added to our always allowed list. For me, this was anything I might need to use during my going to bed routine or my getting up in the morning and getting going routine. If we look at always allowed, you can see some of the apps that I've allowed. I highly recommend whatever your map app is in case you suddenly find yourself on a trip and you didn't turn off downtime and you're lost in a city and you can't see maps because it says that you're in downtime and it's too dangerous to turn it back on. I recommend just adding it to always allowed right now. Random example. Anything that I might need to use at night while I'm going to bed, while I'm getting up in the morning, those are in the always allowed. Every other app is gonna be something that by default is going to be grayed out on the screen and show me this when I'm in downtime. No, I do not approve of this being the message in downtime because it says I've reached my limit as though I set an app limit for it. Always allowed will let in anything, even something that you set an app limit for. So be cautious that you don't put something in always allowed that you also wanna have an app limit on. But mostly, there aren't that many use cases for always allowed apps unless you're using downtime. Have you used downtime? Did it work? Do you know any other use case for always allowed apps? Let me know in the comments. what happens when downtime is on. There's also a button here that says turn on downtime until schedule. This will let us take a look at what is it. Uh, but only if it works. Cool, cool, it says it's on, it's not. Cool, so it's just straight up broken. Recording from a beta, kids.